just in case anybody wanted to see the inside of this thing I went ahead and took it all the way apart um, there is nothing really to see in here it's clean um, everything seems to be in good order here uh, this thing here has something in it here however that that black there is right next to this motor so I have a feeling that there may be some you know some sort of dusty discharge from that um, motor I don't believe that that is mold I think that is some sort of motor dust um, from here you can see a little bit down there but this thing hasn't had any water get in it so um, there's the little intake valve here and uh, it looks looks clean so the whole thing has been taken apart uh, circuit board um, so pretty impressive really for something that's gotten so much use but I don't know what I'll save off of this because I'm really not qualified to work on water picks but um, I'll probably save a couple of things for experimentation like this hose here I think I'm gonna save this hose oops come on that hose because what's interesting about this hose is I'm gonna clean it up on the end that yellow stuff and um, I'm gonna clean this thing up and it looks like you could literally use this without the handle and so I'm just curious if that's the case I mean I would prefer to have a handle um, but if that little nozzle clicks in there um, if that little nozzle clicks in, then I'm, I think I might keep this. I'll clean it with vinegar and uh, keep keep it uh, and see what I can use it for. Although I don't, I think that that little thing is a gasket that I was talking about earlier. I don't see it anymore, but it had like a little tab on it. Let's see if I can. Here it is. So, oh, yeah. So you can see it has like a little tab and it's definitely a filter of some sort or gasket. So, um, so anyway, that's what it is. And pretty good job, water pick. Let me know if you have any questions. I won't be able to answer them, but uh, at least now you know what's inside a water pick.